Welcome to the Virtual Realms YouTube channel. My name is Ranger One. We're jumping into Mabnon here on the test server because I wanted to take a look at a couple of hulls, namely the Caracal line of ships and the Naga. I wanted to take a look in space at the new Caracal hull and its application to all three members of the Caracal family. And I've also heard that the Naga has had some graphical updates to its textures. Traditionally, whenever CCP has introduced a new hull design for an established vessel, they have also included some new updated animations, and I want to see if those are in place. Let's take a look. Let's start out with the basics. First, I want to take a look at the Naga's textures. Well, they look good and clean. There's the animation as the hulls collapse in toward each other. I think that maybe they've cleaned up the banding at the nose and toward the rear of the hull. It looks a little cleaner, a little sharper now. Perhaps the logo does too, but I didn't think it looked that bad to begin with. This was one ship that I thought they had done a pretty good job on, but it may have had some issues with being a little blurred when it came to the white on the dark gray hull. Let's bring it around into the light so that we can see it just a little bit better. Oh, it does look good. Very distinct. The uh, white bands seem to show up pretty well even in the dark. Let's look at the Wirakomi hull. Oh, that might look a little bit better. Now this ship originally, to me, appeared to have one of the better uh, dark green hulls that we're seeing in game now. But I think they've improved that texture just a little bit. And the white now really pops on it as well as the registration number, so ah, that looks good. Uh, not a dramatic change by any stretch of the imagination, but it looks good, clean, and sharp, and that's what we want to see in our textures. Now, they've talked about implementing, allowing dirt to accumulate on the ships, or dust, or, well, whatever you would accumulate in space, but uh, that hasn't been implemented yet, of course. But they've been experimenting with that, and it has carried over into some of the normal textures that we see on some of these hulls. And it hasn't done a lot of them any favors. I'm hopeful that when, and if, they do implement ship weathering <laughs> in space, that uh, they allow it to be an option that you can either elect to take or not take. Now, personally, I wouldn't mind some of my older vessels looking like older vessels, but a lot of people won't like that. They want their ships clean and shiny, and I can respect that, and hopefully CCP does as well. Here we go. This is the meat of what I wanted to take a look at. The new Caracal hull. Oh, that looks sharp. Some people don't like this hull, but frankly, I don't see why. That is a dangerous looking ship. And that's exactly what you want a Caracal hull to look like. You want it to look dangerous, like a high-tech bird of prey. Here's the animation. The wings fold up, pull in slightly, and the nose retracts into the body of the ship. All in all, that's pretty good. There are some subtleties to this as well. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the ship, there are um, belly vents or intakes or cooling vents, whatever you want to call them, that pop back down into position. And a couple of sensor balls that protrude forward from the uh, main engine nacelles there, right next to the main hull. I even like the lighting on the wingtips. Now, I was curious to see this because there had been some debate even within the art team itself as to whether or not it would be possible to put engines on the movable sections of the ship. Apparently there are some technical difficulties with getting that to function properly and some of the members of the art team were insistent that it had to be worked out. Probably for those top pieces up there. Those look like they might be additional thrusters. But other members of the art team insisted that that was a technical feat they were not in a position to undertake. And apparently, unfortunately, uh, that's what's happened. I don't see any thrusters on the movable sections of the wings. I would love to see that happen. 
Not only on this ship, but on others as well. That looks nice. Even without movable thrusters. I discovered that the hull animations were not in place yet on the Caracal Navy issue or on the Cerberus, but I did want to show you what the hulls look like now in their traditional paint schemes. Here's the Caracal Navy issue. Looks good in its digitized camo. And here is the Cerberus in its new traditional paint scheme. Let's take a little closer look at the hull here in better light. There we go. Well, that looks nice. That's very clean. The red's a little understated, but it's okay. Of course, they may still have a little bit of work to do. But that looks sharp and it looks dangerous, so well done. I imagine they'll have the animations in place here fairly quickly. And to wrap up this episode of EVE Online Spotlight, let's take the caracal back out to the belt and see its new skins as well. There's Weir Comey. That looks really good. Dark green looks good on that ship. And here's the alternate skin. That looks tough. That looks like a ship ready to go to war. The Klingons would be proud. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that corporation name. Nugoyhuvi? Nugoyhuvi. I don't know. Anyway, their ships look good. Yeah, I think they've done a good job on these skins and they look beautiful on this hull. So, for me personally, I'm a fan, but that's just my opinion. What do you think? Did they hit the mark with this new rethinking, this new re-imaging of the Caracal hull and the skins that you can apply to it? Or have they gone too far? Is it too sleek and too symmetrical? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And chime in on the animation as well. I think they did a, a wonderful job with that, but some people may disagree and they should have a chance to voice their opinion. Somehow I don't think I'm going to get too many people saying they don't like it. It just makes too much sense and that looks kind of scary coming out of warp. To me, this new design and new animation just looks like it means business. Well, that's it for this edition of EVE Online Spotlight. I just wanted to bring some attention to the, the new hull that they showed off at FanFest. It caused quite a stir there, and is one of the most popular videos that they have out, the one that was showcased the uh, new art assets coming into the game. So I'm going to go ahead, jump into Amar and dock, and bid you guys farewell. And until I see you again, good hunting. Thanks for watching. I hope you were entertained. If you liked the video, please remember to subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And I'll see you next time.